Hello again, Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. Today I want to talk to you about one of the most important aspects of the mental part of shotgun shooting, your pre-shot routine. This will be one of our longer videos, so I apologize up front for that, but there is no definitive answer. Everyone has a different routine. But if you want to go from AA class to AAA or master class, you need to get this right. Many people suggest that shotgun shooting is 90% mental and 10% equipment and technique. Now, for those that make the Olympic finals, I dare say that percentage is about right. But for the everyday shooter, I think those percentages are vastly wrong. What I will concede, however, is a shortcut to success is preparing yourself mentally before you call for the target to be released each time. We often think about getting the perfect shotgun or the perfect round of ammunition or the perfect coach to teach you the perfect technique. But often the answer simply lies in what you're thinking about in the few seconds before you shoot. It doesn't matter whether you shoot skeet, sporting trap or any other shotgun event for that matter. You're going to have about 10 seconds of your time to prepare yourself before you ask for the target to be released. Let's look at some ways where you can use those precious seconds very productively. One of the most important things you can do is visualize a positive outcome to your forthcoming shot. Imagine a perfect gun mount with a beautiful gun movement to the target. One thing I can guarantee is this, and if you take nothing else out of this video today, take away this point. If in the few seconds before you shoot, you think about missing or anything negative, then you've just increased your chances of missing. Think positive. A common problem that every competition shooter will face at some stage in their career is how do you battle with this little man in your head that's constantly feeding you instructions all the time. You think he's there to try and help you, but trust me on this, he's not. He's there to make sure you have a bad day. The little man tends to disappear once you've missed enough targets that you can no longer win a prize. The best way to combat the little man in your head is to distract him. Now, many competitors will tell you they've shot some amazing scores when they've had a musical tune in their head. That's undoubtedly true. I'm certainly in the same boat. What that music is doing, it's distracting this little man so you can concentrate on the task at hand. But in time, that tune gets boring, it gets old. I think there's a better way to do this. In the early 1990s, I did an enormous amount of work with one of the sports institutes here in Australia about heart rate analysis and how your heart reacts under pressure. What we found out was in the 10 seconds prior to you shooting, if you can get your heart rate coming down, your performance will increase. How did we do this? Well, the simple way was through breathing exercises. As the shooter beside me was executing their shot, I used to take a deep breath and concentrate on exhaling, feeling the air leave my lungs. This did two things. It reduced my heart rate and it distracted this little man in my head. I don't know if you're a woman whether you have a little girl in your head or not. Now a round of Olympic trap will take about 25 minutes to complete the domestic disciplines of trap a little bit less than that. But no one can concentrate at 100% power for that amount of time, but you don't have to. What you need to do is devise a technique that allows you to concentrate for 10 or 15 seconds for 25 times. Now you need something each time as an indicator to get you back starting the process of your concentration or pre-shot routine. For me, I found that when the shooter beside me was starting to get ready, it allowed me to start my process. Let's have a look at some practical examples of that. The shooter on post five here is Pielio from Italy, one of the world's great Olympic trap shooters. No matter what situation he's in or whoever is shooting beside him, he does not change. You could set a Rolex watch by the amount of time he takes on each shot. Now this lady on post three has her own pre-shot routine that works just fine for her. Watch closely as the shooter beside her gets ready. She is now concentrating. As soon as it's her time to shoot, the gun straight into position and away she goes. It's no different if your discipline is sporting or skeet. 
Here's a high pressure shoot off for an Olympic medal at the 2012 London Olympic Games. Skeet shooters have to walk onto their pad of course before they can actually mount the gun and get ready but mentally they start this well before they walk onto the pad. You notice the Russian shooter who's shooting second here has seen his competitor hit the pair of targets so he knows he'll have to hit both to stay alive in this shoot off but his pre-shot routine does not change one bit. Everything is timed to within tenths of seconds and a perfect execution of a plan. Sporting clay shooters pre-shot routine tends to be looking at other people's targets. That's great as long as you're not picking up their bad habits if they miss. Spend some time developing your pre-shot routine and more importantly develop it in training. I've lost count of the amount of young people that have come to me for coaching and when you ask them how they've been training, they say, oh, I've been averaging 23 or 24, but you put them in a competition and sometimes their scores are about 10% lower. Why? Because all of a sudden when someone starts scoring, they have a different pre-shot routine. Perfect it in training so when you start shooting competition, it is commonplace and it becomes natural for you. Visualize perfect outcomes. Think positively, focus on your breathing and therefore lowering your heart rate and more importantly, distracting this little man or woman in your head and you're on your way to a perfect pre-shot routine as long as you do it the same every time and do it the same in practice. I hope this little piece of advice today helps your competition scores and as always, I look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range really soon.